Kodak Black made it out of the trenches and into the mainstream, but he allegedly still has heavy ties to the streets and is still surrounded by death and violence. And just a couple weeks ago, an artist who was allegedly signed to him was shot and set on fire. This is the wild and brutal story of 26 CJ. On March 28th, at around 6.30 a.m., someone called 911 and reported a vehicle that was set on fire in the 200 block of Northwest 32nd Court. Footage from the scene shows an SUV burning to the ground while people came out of their houses to check out what was going on. A dude who lives in the area told the local news channel that he heard an explosion and then looked outside his window and saw the SUV completely engulfed in flames. Seeing a vehicle blow up and burn down in your neighborhood is wild, but what came next was way more shocking. After the firefighters pulled up and put out the fire, the police discovered that the SUV wasn't the only thing that had burned. In the back seat of the whip, they found a body that was burned so bad they couldn't even tell if it was a man or a woman. A gas can was laying next to the burning whip, and the cops immediately knew that they weren't dealing with an accident. Not long after, news broke that the body inside the car was a local rapper named 26CJ. CJ hadn't popped off in the mainstream yet, but he had been active in the game since 2020 and dropped his debut mixtape, King Cobra, last year, which was on its way to hitting 100,000 streams on YouTube. According to rumors, CJ signed a deal with Kodak Black a few months ago and was looking like the next rapper from Pompano Beach to take off. But then, out of nowhere, CJ hopped on IG and took shots at Yak and other people. CJ said he had been real quiet about certain situations because he wanted to keep it gangster, but everyone else was playing too many internet games and not respecting the streets anymore. He said he was about to drop an interview and expose everybody involved, and after that, he was gonna do nothing but send disrespect in his music and on social media. In another post, it looked like he was squashing the rumors about signing the Yak. CJ said he wasn't tied to anyone and that nobody else does more spinning than him. Then he ended it with a threat and said he's coming for anyone that speaks on his name. He ain't called Kodak out directly in any of the posts, but everyone connected the message to Yak because of CJ's next post during the rant. He said that if you ever get shot and didn't get back from whoever popped on you, he can't even beef with you because you're not qualified. People linked that last post to Kodak because he was shot in the leg last year after a party hosted by Justin Bieber. Kodak clapped back on live and said he didn't even feel the shot. The last thing CJ said was that people would do anything to save themselves. He tagged Kodak's artist, Psycho Bob, and said, first Psycho Bob, now me? You still want him or what? Let's not get too messy. Back in 2021, Psycho and his homies got caught up in the drive-by in the middle of the day. They were rolling down the block when a BMW pulled up and started shooting. Psycho and his homies tried to speed off, but they ended up crashing into some other cars and stopped in the middle of the street. The BMW chased him down and kept shooting, and that's when someone in Psycho's whip started shooting back. The dudes in the BMW tried to smash off and bullets started coming back at them, but the BMW ended up crashing too, and by the time the cops hit the scene, everyone involved had taken off on foot. It's not clear if CJ was referencing the shooting or what happened next to Psycho. Last January, the news broke that Psycho was booked on gun, drugs, and DUI charges after the cops pulled him over and found 20 grams of weed and a loaded pistol in the whip. He ended up pleading guilty to gun possession in December, and then last week, he got hit with a five-year sentence over it. At this point, nobody knows what CJ was trying to say about Psycho's situation. Some people think he was accusing Kodak of trying to take him out with the drive-by, but others say Psycho got thrown under the bus on the gun charge and went down for something he shouldn't have, but there's no evidence to back any of the rumors up. It's not clear who took CJ out or why they wanted him gone, but he's not the only local rapper affiliated with Yak who's been brutally murdered. In September 2021, another Kodak Black artist named Wiz the Wizard's body was found dumped in front of a house in Hollandale Beach around 6 in the morning. His death was really strange, and the police still aren't sure what happened. They believe Wiz was murdered, but they don't know if he was killed at the house or if someone just dropped his body there after they murdered him. After the news broke, Kodak gave a speech and told everyone, You know, I just lost a friend, very close friend for like, we've been friends for like over 10 years. You know, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy. Um, dealing with, dealing with losing another friend, you know, and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's hard. Like, I've been dealing with loss my whole life, you know. He also went on live and said that Wiz opened the doors for a lot of people like CJ and other local rappers. Kodak was showing a lot of love to Wiz, but according to rumors, they were actually beefing when he died. Wiz and his cousin, Wham Spin the Band, both allegedly repped Double M Gang and allegedly had major issues with Yak over money and some personal beef. Then, Kodak took a shot at both of them on the track Back for Everything with the line, Yeah, Double M Gang, but I ain't talking Rick Ross. Double M Gang, I took that shit from Wiz. Rest in peace, my but it's his fault, the way he let them kill you like a jit. 
Talking to Wham, you saying the same? Did you like Elaine? You ain't give a damn, they're up in chains, and I was already in pain. Some fans think Yak referenced Wiz's death again and took responsibility for it on the track Silent Hill with Kendrick Lamar. On the track, he said, I'm the type to get my shooter whack. There's no evidence that Kodak was talking about Wiz or that Wiz was ever a shooter, but the line could actually be referring to CJ. CJ and Wiz were homies, and after Wiz died, CJ even released a collab track they had together. But according to rumors, CJ was paid to take his own homie out. While none of this has been backed up with concrete evidence, there are a few stories about what some people really think went down between all of them. According to rumors, the issues with Wiz and Kodak were deeper than anyone on the outside realized and a lot of people wanted him gone. Whether it was Yak himself or just someone in the trenches trying to make a name for themselves, rumors say that CJ was given a bag to snake his own friend. People who think Yak paid CJ to kill Wiz say that the IG rant CJ went on makes even more sense if the story is true. If CJ really was Kodak's shooter, then he definitely could have exposed him if he wanted to. Even if Kodak isn't involved with the situation, there are a lot of things that make it seem like CJ really did kill his homie. After the news about CJ's death broke, his ops immediately hopped on social media to clown him. But instead of just dissing CJ, they were also posting pics of Wiz and saying, long live Wiz the Wizard. What makes the situation even more confusing though, is that last year, CJ answered a question on IG about whether he messed with Yak or not, and CJ said, yes, and Kodak and Wiz really loved each other, they were just too f***ing stubborn to tell y'all. This ain't the first time Kodak has had major issues with his own homies. Last year, he started beefing with his childhood friend, Jack Boy. Instead of settling their issues behind closed doors, they started sending shots back and forth on social media. Then Kodak threw 100k into the ocean just to show Jack Boy how much more money he had than him. According to rumors, Yak stole 500k from Jack Boy and was charging him 30 racks for each feature. And the situation ended with Jack Boy splitting off and starting his own label. Jack Boy and Kodak had been tight since they was kids, but Yak made it clear that he's willing to be for anyone if he thinks they crossed him. Right now, nobody knows what's really going on with the rap scene in Florida. A lot of these dudes have ties to each other that go way back, and there's no telling who actually killed CJ. Shooting an op is one thing, but it seems like whoever's behind the hit wanted to send a message to everyone in the city. And if the rumors about CJ being set on fire are true, then whoever did it obviously had some real beef with him that was personal. It's way too early to even guess why he was taken out like that. But tap in for updates, because this is probably the beginning of something even crazier. Rest in peace to 26CJ and everyone else who lost their lives.